Hey guys, it's Ashley. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these two cards. One is a cupcake card and the other one is a pot of flowers and I'm making them for the mothers in my life for Mother's Day. So these are some of the things that you're, you will need. Some paper, I have a scoreboard, a decorative edge punch, paper slicer, swim ribbon, stamps, so the card base will be three and a half by nine inches. And then we're going to cut a insert and that will be two and a half by four and a half inches. And then in on top of the insert we're going to put a white mat just so that our sentiment stands out and I think it looks nice and finished. So that insert will be two and a quarter by four and a quarter. So here is my Martha Stewart scoreboard. This is the travel size and I took my card base and I will be scoring it at two inches and five and a half inches. And then I will fold these folds <laughs> and reinforce them with the bone folder. I am making two cards at the same time so you might see doubles of things so don't I hope I don't confuse you. So I don't have any tape runner left so I'm just using glue which is fine you don't have to have all the fancy tools for this project. So this is my Fisker's punch. It's a scalloped edge punch. If there's one edge punch that I would say is a staple in any craft room, I would say it would be a scalloped edge. So I literally only have one and this is this is it. So this edge will be the part that's showing on the outside of the pot. And now we're going to contour the pot and so I just marked a half inch on either side and then I will be putting it in my paper slicer and cutting sort of like a triangle so to the top of the pot down to that half inch mark. So now the pot looks more like a pot. <laughs> anyway, so here's my sentiment. It says Happy Mother's Day. You can't really tell. I'm not exactly sure where I got this from. I think it's just a cheapy stamp that I got from like a dollar store a long time ago. So I'm using this Picked Raspberries by Tim Holtz. Just stress inks. And I I'm going to stamp this onto the card insert and then when it's time to fill out the card then I have a place underneath that where I can write and then to keep the card together I am going to put a ribbon around the whole entire thing and then tie a knot or bow or whatever you can do because I can't do much. I am not so great in the bow department. But that's okay because crafting doesn't have to be about perfection. Sometimes it's just a thought that counts. So I'm just cutting the edges of the ribbon and I use a very dull knife and I do not recommend that and I'm going to use a glue dot and I'm going to put it underneath the knot of the ribbon just so that the ribbon doesn't slide off of the card so 
So now I'm going to be working on the inserts to the cards, making one into a cupcake and one into a bunch of flowers. I cut out the shapes using my Cricut and I used the Create a Critter Cricut cartridge and I cut out the top of the cupcake and some flowers and then a cherry to go on top of the cupcake. So now I'm going to be securing it onto the card insert, but I will not be fully securing it. I will only do just the top edge so that when I go to put it inside the card base, the card will the card pot or cupcake base will sort of nestle underneath the cupcake, if that makes sense. So once you're done that, you just put it inside your card base and you are basically done. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I will put everything I use in the down bar and please follow me on Instagram and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!